Hello friends, if you are preparing for UGC NET exams or your set exams and if you are giving electronic science paper, this video will be very much helpful. In this video, we are going to cover 5 questions. You have to find the Themenian's resistance across this diode. So let me name this terminals as A and B. In order to find the Themenian's impedance across this diode, you have to replace by your open circuit and active elements, if you are having a voltage source, replace by your short circuit. And if you are having any current source, replace by your open circuit. So the left out circuit will be 1 kilo ohm and 2 kilo ohms will be having a 3 kilo ohms, right? You are looking from this end. So when you are looking from this end, how this 1k and 2k is connected? This 1k and 2k is connected in parallel, which is equals to 2 divided by 3k. So you are left with 2 by 3k and you will be having 3 kilo ohms, you are going to look the impedance from this end. So this impedance is RTH. So what is the value of RTH? RTH equals to 3 plus 2 by 3, which is equals to 11 by 3 kilo ohms. Able to follow? Hence, the suitable option is option number C is correct. If they are asking Norton's impedance or Thevenian's impedance, both means the same. Twelfth question, what they have given is, they have given a star network, you have to convert into a delta network. So they have given a star network, each resistance value is 10 ohms. Each resistance value is 10 ohms, you have to write the equivalent delta network. You have to write the equivalent delta network. Let me name the impedance as R1, R2 and R3. We know that if all the resistance are equal, then you have to multiply by 3, that is the equivalent resistance that is 30 ohms 30 ohms and 30 ohms if you don't know whether it is multiplied by 3 or divided by 3 let us go with the standard procedure how to find the value of r1 r1 10 multiplied by 10 plus 10 multiplied by 10 that is 10 multiplied by 10 plus 10 multiplied by this 10 10 multiplied by this 10 divided by divided by opposite resistance that is 10 which is equals to which is equals to 30 which is equals to 30 which is same as r2 and r3 so this is the equivalent delta network for a given star network able to follow next let us solve 13th question which one of the following theorem is manifestation to the law of conservation of energy i told in order to find power Telegan's theorem is the only theorem which is used for power calculation. Also, if you want to talk about law of conservation of energy, Telegan's theorem will be helping. Reciprocity theorem is not applicable. Superposition theorem is not applicable. Norton's theorem is not applicable. Reciprocity theorem is applicable if you are having only one source. If you are having only one source, that can be a voltage source or it can be a current source, but it should be only one. Superposition theorem. If you are having any non-linearities, then superposition theorem is not applicable. Norton's theorem, again, if you are having any unilateral elements, superposition theorem is not applicable. So it will not be talking about power calculations or energy. The only theorem that talks about law of conservation of energy is Telegan's theorem. So option number one is correct. Fourteenth question, the pole zero configuration of a network transfer function is given. The magnitude of the transfer function will be, they are telling, whether it is dependent on frequency that is decrease with frequency increase with frequency or independent of frequency initially increase then decrease let us write the transfer function let us write the transfer function for this the transfer function is this term is s plus 1 sorry it is s minus 1 and this term is a 0 so it is s minus 2 divided by a pole which is situated at minus 1 this pole is situated at minus 1, so it is S minus of minus 2, that is S plus 2, right. If I am writing the magnitude, if I am writing the magnitude, so magnitude of the transfer function equals to root of omega square plus 1 into omega square plus 4 divided by omega square plus 1 into omega square plus 4. That means replace s equals to j omega and then you are going to take a magnitude. So you will be getting transfer function equals to 1. There is no any frequency term. So I can tell it is independent of frequency. Hence option number c is correct. 
15th question what the given is you have to determine the effective resistance between the terminals a and b so you are having inside star network and outside you are having delta network so what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert the star network to a delta network so if i'm converting that star network to a delta network what i'll be getting is i'll be getting three resistance let me name the resistance as r1 r2 and r3 right and you will be having outer resistance that is r and here also you will be having a resistance r and here also you will be having a resistance r right now what is the value of r1 r2 and r3 r1 r2 and r3 which is equals to 3r r1 r2 and r3 which is equals to 3r because if you want to convert from star to delta star to delta if you want to convert then if all the resistance are equal the multiplication factor should be 3 so you'll be having this r1 and r is in parallel so 3r is in parallel with r so what is the equivalent value 3r times of r divided by 4r which is equals to 3 by 4 times of r 3 by 4 times of r so you'll be getting an equivalent value that is 3 fourth of r and you'll be having this 3 fourth of r and this one also you'll be having 3 fourth of r nothing but 0.75 times of r this points are a b and c since they are asking us to find the equivalent resistance between a and b c th terminal you can just neglect so 3 by 4 times of r is in parallel with is in parallel with this 3 by 4 times of r and this 3 by 4 times of r they both are in series so the equivalent value will be 3 by 2 times of r so the equivalent value will be 3 fourth of r into 3 and half times of r divided by 3 by 4 plus 6 directly i have taken lcm so this 4 and 4 you can cancel so you have left with 9 r square divided by 2 whole divided by 9 by 1 so you will be getting r square so sorry you will be having here r also so you are left with r divided by 2 or 0.5 times of r able to follow so the equivalent resistance that is seen between a and b that is r a b which is equals to 0.5 times of r if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up also share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel craving Gyan. all the best for your exams thank you